Look at all these games I haven't reviewed yet. I got uh, Virtua Fighter, uh, some Tiger Woods game. What is this? Batman. I got Jet Moto way over there. What's this over, way over here? Ow! If there's some cheese on the bed, you should be suspicious. The Electronic Mouse Maze is a cute and charming little game, but with a very grim premise if you overanalyze things. It takes inspiration from Tom and Jerry and other cat and mouse cartoons. But given the limited technology, there's less room for comic mischief and less cartoon violence that you see in Tom and Jerry. The premise is very simple. Up in the left hand corner in the HUD, it tells you how many pieces of cheese you need to collect to complete the level run through the maze and collect them all without getting killed by the cat. And given this technology's limited capabilities, sometimes the pieces of cheese double as the cat's body. LCD games don't really have graphics, what they have is a template. So sometimes the templates light up and each sprite can be interchangeable as something else. You see the cheese graphic right there is a piece of cheese and right here it's the cat. However, it's easy to distinguish one from the other. Every time you collect a piece of cheese, the mouse starts blinking and he can face through the walls. Why? I don't know. You can push energize to the left of the console if the cat gets way too close to you and jump over the walls. My advice is to make your moves very decisively and try to avoid using the energize button. Collect the last flickering piece of cheese and you have completed the level. Alright, let's take a look at the unit itself. So the directional pad is on the right side, usually directional pads are on the left. But it seems to be a thing that Tiger Electronics was doing at the time. You see I have another one where the directional pad's on the right. You have your energize button, that's to make the mouse blink and phase through the walls and it's good if the cat is right up on you and you want to get away from him, push phase and you can go through the walls. I forget how many times you can use it, I think it costs you a life also. There's your power button and it just doesn't start up right away. You have to push it again I think and nothing's happening there we go takes a second so there's your power off button player it's actually two players you can take turns with another player after you get killed by the cat you can swap it with another player and take turns that way that's just to turn off the sound these little musical notes speakers on the back takes two AA batteries the speaker on it went bad, so I replaced it with a speaker from a toy gun that I bought at the dollar store. I'll let you see what it sounds like. Give it a second. And that's what the game sounds like. I like the artwork on it. It reminds me of Saturday morning cartoons back in the 80s. The cat is looking at those mice, like how I look at cheese stuffed hot dogs. The first level starts off with a very standard difficulty. The second level, it seems that you run into the cat more frequently. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh no, 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 please, no. Please, Mr. Buttons, I really don't taste that good. Uh oh. If you see a piece of cheese and the cat within the same vicinity, you might want to collect a piece of cheese, use it to face through the wall, and get away from the cat.
There's a problem with the D-pad in this game. It could be just my particular copy, but you have to be very deliberate with that D-pad. For example, if you just mash the D-pad like you would any other, you'll make the wrong move by mistake. For example, you'll be pushing right and he'll go up, or you'll be pushing down and he'll go left. So you have to push the very tips of the directional pad. Whether that problem is isolated to my personal copy of Mouse Maze, I really can't say. There might be others that don't have this issue, but on mine, you have to be very careful how you push the directional pad. Electronic Mouse Maze is not a game I had as a kid, but for me it brings back a lot of happy memories of being a small child watching cartoons like Pixie and Dixie and Mr. Jinx, Tom and Jerry and other cartoons like that. So if you do run across Electronic Mouse Maze in the wild, I do recommend picking it up. If you see it on eBay for a good price, get it. This game is actually pretty cool. Well, that concludes this episode of the Straight Edge Game Room. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe for future content, and if you like this kind of stuff, check out my other videos for past episodes of the Straight Edge Game Room. Share on social media, send it to friends, family, send it to people who don't like you, just don't send it to anybody who's got a restraining order against you. Come on, guy, be smart. All joking aside, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And stay tuned in the future for future episodes of the Straight Edge Game Room. And leave a comment below if you got any suggestions for what game I should review or video game accessory. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Look, I perform all my own stunts. Kids, don't try this at home. Oof. Ah, got me on my pinky real good. <laughs>